Um, what I've got open on my screen right here is both text files. Uh, this text file right here, we are going to need to put our database name, username, password in it. Uh, so this is just for reference, so I'm just going to put this over here right now. The other text file is actually, uh, you should be able to see it here, it's actually the installation instructions. So I'm just going to leave this open beside the window here. I'm going to do all the work right here in this window to the left, but I'm going to leave the instructions on the right just so you can see that the, the instructions match up properly. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to yourdomain.com forward slash cpanel and then you want to log in with the username and password that was created by Hostgator. When you log into your cPanel, this is what it should look like here. So the very first thing we want to do is uh, right here in the in the instructions it says create database. So um, I'm not going to read over all these instructions. I'm just going to do it. But you can go back and forth and you can uh, you can do it one by one. So what we're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you find the section called databases, and then you want to click on the little icon that says MySQL databases and it's going to open up a page here so next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go create a new database so here I'm just going to call it fast cache and then click the button create database and it'll just take a couple of seconds here and then once it's done you're going to see added the database so right here we want to copy this so what it is what it's going to be is it's going to be your cpanel username underscore whatever you just named it so I'm just going to right click on that I'm going to copy it and then we're going to go back over here to this text file here. So that's the database name. So what I want to do here is I'm just going to paste it right there, okay? And then that's it for that step. So now let's go back into this window and we'll click the go back button. Then you want to scroll down and we're going to create, we're going to add a user. So I'm just going to put admin and then we're going to create a password. So I recommend you use the password generator and um, just copy the password that it gives you. It's going to be a very strong password. Be sure that there's no dollar signs in here. You don't want any dollar signs in this password. So if it does have a dollar sign, just generate a new one or just backspace it out. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to put it in the password field here. and then once I've done that I can safely click I have copied this password into the safe place and then just put click the button use password and there you go so now you've got the username and you got a password and then you're just gonna click create user and then it'll just take a couple of seconds and then we're, there we go uh, added the user so let's just copy the admin name here because you need that full underscore name Let's copy that back over to here and then let's just paste that in here. So there we go, we've got the database name, we've got the username and we've got the password. So let's go back to the main window here where you're doing the work. Let's click the go back. Now I'm just gonna put the instructions back up here. So we've done step number two, we've created the database, we've created the MySQL user, um, now we've just clicked the go back button so now we're right here we're at step number four add a user to the database so what you want to do over in this window here is you want to scroll down add user to database so you're gonna select your admin you're gonna select the database and you're gonna click add and then when the page changes you're gonna click all privileges so make sure you click all privileges and then click the button make changes and there you go. So now just click the go back button and that's it for the database section now. So what you want to do now is you want to go up to this top left corner here and click the home icon. And 